Okay, so we're back, and uh, now we're going to talk about uh, emphasis and commands. So again, we're back. We have our LaTeX template. Change the title a little bit. Uh, let's just save the desktop. Okay, and uh, so what I mean by emphasis is, again, these are the basic things you need to get started with LaTeX. So italics, bold, underline, etc. So, uh, and then we're going to talk about some the form of commands. So emphasis will be a good example. So let's say I, uh, I have some text, okay, and uh, I want it bold, okay? So there's a way to do this, which is uh, bf is the command. So again, if I didn't know, you know, the command beforehand on how to make something bold, again, we can use Google and just say, okay, um, okay, so just say, how can I make bold in LaTeX? Okay, so here we have sharelatex.com. It seems very, uh, it's a big uh, 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 site with a lot of resources. Okay, so they're saying text BF. Okay, so uh, BF is, all, is one way to do it. We can follow, again, like I said, there's many ways to do the same thing in LaTeX. Okay, so now I have text that I want bold. Okay, if we compare that to the text without being bold, plain text. Okay, so we have this. Okay, so let's, let's, let's do something. Let's make bullets. Okay, so I don't know if it's bullet with it. Okay, so I don't know if it was bullet or bullets, but you can guess. And this is the whole point of this video series is to show you that, you know, it doesn't hurt to guess. And, you know, rather than, okay, uh, now I'm stuck again, I can look it up. Well, I can guess. I can guess first and see what happens. So again, it, from the last uh, lesson, we saw that, okay, putting the double space here is going to give us a, uh, it's going to give us a space between the paragraphs. Okay, if I put no indent here, so this is using some of the tools from the last uh, tutorial. Okay, so now I have a nice little list. Okay, um, if I want text italics, so I, I, I would, my guess is it's going to be text IT for italics, whereas this is text IT for, uh, text BF for bold face. Okay. So let's see what we get. Good. Okay. So now we have our italics, and again, let's put a space. So uh, finally, uh, what else do we want? Okay, underline. So I think underline is just this. I, maybe you can put text underline as well. Okay, and what do we get? Uh, a mistake. Okay, good. So I guess text underline is not the right command you want to use here. And it's just underline. Okay, good. So we put the space again. So again, you know, this is something that you can either guess at or you can come to, you know, just look at how to add emphasis. This, this for, you know, this was the first thing that showed up on Google, bold italics and underline. Okay, perfect. Text BF, underline, text IT. So here now you have what they're doing is uh, the combination, right? You want something underlined and italicized. So this is where uh, it's good to get some sort of idea of, of the form of commands that you may see. Okay, the most basic form of commands are things like uh, backslash no indent. It requires no input. It just it's just a paragraphing tool that says, okay, we don't put the indent if this is at the start of a new paragraph. Okay. The second type of command you have. So this is with when you put something within dollar signs, it becomes what's called inside math mode. Okay. So anything between two dollar signs is going to be in math mode, and this is where you can use mathematical symbols. Okay. Not all symbols are you know associated with mathematics, but they sort of fall into this category of symbols that are not basic text, okay? So so this bullet point, okay, this is a symbol that's not basic text, it's not something you find on the keyboard. So what we're going to do is, you know, in order to, uh, to, 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 to get the bullet to show up, 
you need to put it in math mode. Otherwise, what you're going to do is you're going to compile the text and you're going to see what, what, it's, what does it say to you. It says missing dollar sign uh, inserted. Okay. So that's another type of command is um, commands within math mode. Okay, so if you have, so it's the name of the symbol. So it, again, it's like a no indent command, but it it needs to be in math mode, whereas no indent doesn't or make title doesn't. Okay, and uh, then you have this third type of command, which requires the input like section, right? So now you have text boldface. It requires to be within uh, the section. So if we want, finally, if we want something underlined. And bold. Well, first we put it underlined. So the input of this is some is plain text is being inputted into the underlined environment. So that means that it, what we're going to get is something underlined. And then we can just put it put this thing right. So now this object is going to be underlined. So it's going to be this text underlined. And now the whole thing is going to be this text underlined and bold if we did things correctly and that's exactly what we get okay so this is just to give you a basic idea of the commands the types of environments that we see there are also other types of environments that are going to come into play later uh, which are the begin and end type of environments so this is for figures for introducing uh, images for um, uh, creating tables and uh, many other things like this. And these are, in general, I think these are uh, the basic types of commands uh, that, that you're going to, you know, the form of commands that you're going to see.